Why has a spacecraft that was launched in 1977 suddenly started sending back mysterious messages? Messages that could point to a fiery wall at the edge of space. Humanity's second taste of interstellar space may have raised more questions than it answered. Welcome to the Paranormal Post, I'm Clayton Morris. If you love true stories of the unexplained, then go ahead and smash that like button, it really helps. And please subscribe to the channel. So in the vast emptiness of space, billions of miles from home, NASA's Voyager 2 set a milestone of exploration becoming the second spacecraft ever to enter interstellar space back in November of 2018. But now, scientists have revealed what Voyager 2 saw as it crossed the threshold, and it's giving humans new insight into some of the big mysteries of our solar system. This stuff is crazy. Voyager 2, that was launched in 1977, performed the first and only flybys of giant frozen planets like Uranus and Neptune. Also, it marked the first time that a spacecraft has directly sampled the electrically charged hazes and the plasmas that fill interstellar space and the solar system's farthest outskirts. Voyager 2's charge into interstellar space follows that of its younger sibling, Voyager 1, which accomplished the same feat in 2012. Now, the two spacecraft's data have many features in common, as you can imagine, such as the overall density of the particles that they've encountered in interstellar space. But, and this is where things get really interesting, the twin craft also saw some key differences on its way out of the solar system, raising new questions about our sun's movement through the galaxy. Now, the Voyager project scientist Ed Stone, who's a physicist at Caltech, said in a press briefing that this has been a really wonderful journey. And then physicist Jamie Rankin said, it's just really exciting that humankind is interstellar. We have been interstellar travelers since Voyager 1 crossed, but now Voyager 2's cross is even more exciting because we can now compare two very different locations in the interstellar medium. So to explain Voyager 2's latest findings and why this is such a mystery, it helps to know that the sun isn't just a quietly burning ball of light. In fact, our star is a raging nuclear furnace speeding through the galaxy at about 450,000 miles an hour as it orbits our galactic center. The sun also has twisted magnetic fields, and as a result, its surface always projects a breeze of electrically charged particles called the solar wind. Now this gust rushes out in all directions, carrying the sun's magnetic field with it. Eventually, the solar wind smashes into the interstellar medium and the debris from ancient stellar explosions that lurks in the spaces between the stars. This is fascinating stuff. So like oil and water, the solar wind and this interstellar medium don't mix. So the solar wind kind of forms a bubble within the interstellar medium called the heliosphere. And based on Voyager data, this bubble extends, get this, 11 billion miles from the sun at its leading edge, surrounding the sun and all eight planets and much of the outer objects orbiting our star. It's a good thing too, because this projective heliosphere shields everything inside of it, including our fragile DNA, like a protective bubble, because our DNA is really fragile and we are now protected from the galaxy's highest energy radiation. The heliosphere's outermost edge is called the heliopause. This is crazy, and it marks the start of interstellar space. Understanding this kind of threshold or wall has massive implications for the picture of the sun's journey through our galaxy, which in turn can tell us more about the situation of other stars scattered around the cosmos. So physicist Ed Stone said during the briefing that we're trying to understand the nature of that boundary, where these two winds collide and how they mix, and how much spillage there is from inside of our solar system to outside of the bubble. Scientists got their first detailed look at the heliopause on August 25th, 2012, when Voyager 1 entered interstellar space. What they began to see left them stunned. Researchers know now that the interstellar magnetic field is about two to three times stronger than expected, which means that interstellar particles exert up to 10 times as much pressure on our heliosphere than previously thought. They're like they're trying to get in and this bubble is keeping them out. But that first trip to the heliosphere was incomplete. 
because of a broken piece of equipment. Yeah, back in 1980, the instrument that measured the temperature of plasmas stopped working. So we had to wait for Voyager 2. And the plasma instrument is still working just fine. So when it crossed the heliopause on November 5th, 2018, scientists got a much better look at this bizarre wall. And for the first time, researchers could see that as an object gets within 140 million miles of this wall, the plasma surrounding it starts to slow down and it heats up and it gets denser, stronger. What's even more bizarre is that this wall has a lot of holes in it, like Swiss cheese. And there are strange tentacles of particles that punch through the wall. Think of them like roots of a tree punching through rocks in space. Strange, right? And these roots or particles extend hundreds of miles past this wall. Another mystery appeared as Voyager 1 came within 800 million miles of the heliopause. It entered into a weird limbo-like area in which the solar winds slowed down to a crawl, as if time itself had slowed down. But when Voyager 2 approached the wall, it saw something different. The solar wind formed an altogether different kind of layer that oddly was nearly the same width as the stagnant one seen by Voyager 1. So researchers say that this is all very weird and we need more missions to figure out what's going on out there at the edge of our solar system. Its overall shape also remains a mystery. The pressure might make the wall a kind of a sphere, while others think it's more like a tail of a comet. And one scientist thinks it's shaped like a croissant. Hmm, a space croissant. But either way, we'll have to wait because other spacecraft are currently outward bound and they won't be able to return data from the heliopause for years to come. In fact, sadly, NASA's new Horizon spacecraft is zooming right out of the solar system at more than 31,000 miles an hour. But when it runs out of power in the 2030s, it's going to fall silent more than a billion miles from the heliosphere's outer edge. So it's going to die out before it gets there. So this fiery wall is going to remain a mystery. That's why Voyager scientists and others are calling for a follow-up interstellar probe. The goal is a 50-year, multi-generation mission that explores the outer solar system on its way into unexplored regions beyond the solar wind. So imagine this. Scientists will launch new probes and they won't even be alive to see the results, as other scientists will have to pick up and take over the project. Crazy. Until then, we only have these mysterious messages from Voyager and what sits at the outer rim of our solar system. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you already have, never miss one of our videos, please turn on the little bell notification so you'll be notified as soon as we publish. So if you've got a friend that's interested in NASA's discoveries, let them know about it. Share this video with a friend and drop me a comment below and tell me what you think about the revelations of Voyager 2. We'll see you next time, everyone.